It's Friday. It's Yay. yappy hour. Yay. Yay. <laughs> I'm Melanie, and I'm joined here this week by Bronnie and Vinny, who actually made it to the table. Uh, usually they're down there sleeping, but um, we have a special show this week. I'm really, really excited. We're going to have the All-American Docs and Rescue on to tell us uh, about their organization, what they do for the Doxies. And that's where Bronnie and Vinny came from mm, 11 years ago already. Uh, Bronnie was my first one that I adopted in 2009. And then I, uh, I adopted Vinny shortly thereafter. So I just want to tell you a little, a little bit about who we are and what we do and why we do what we do. We're Nectar of the Dogs Wine, and we were co-founded about five years ago um, just simply to create a really nice quality wine that we could sell and be able to give back to dog rescue organization. Um, all the dogs on the label belong to us. Uh, they were the inspiration for the wine and for the labels. And so, you know, when we sell wine, we give back and um, we just want to share share the message about who we are and what we do so that we can we can give back um so there are nine dogs on the label these are just four of them connie clyde floyd and mika and you can see obviously there's some dachshunds there these are the dogs that belong to my husband and i so you know they do call me the wiener mama i just i, I love dachshunds uh, mika was our husky she thought she was kind of a dachshund by association because she grew up with all of them um, but, you know, here at Nectar of the Dogs Wine, we like to say it's not really drinking alone if your dog is with you. Case in point, they're here. Even though they're sleeping, I, I thought they'd try to <laughs> stay awake, but, but this is what dogs do. Uh, but I want to just see what's happening over Northridge with Monica. We can't be together because of the COVID-19. So let's say, uh, hey, Monica, what's happening? Cheers. Happy Friday. Melanie, happy Friday. Hope you're doing well. Um, so it looks like we've come full circle with this wine time. We're back to the 2015 Chardonnay, which I'm enjoying. Um, I, I have to say, I, I'm actually a big fan of, you know, your typical Chardonnay, the oaky, buttery Chardonnay, but I love this one just as much. I know it's unoaked, um, it, but it's still crisp and it's got that creamy finish, which is, is fantastic. So cheers. Well, thank you. Cheers. Yes. Our you 2015 from um, Cantara, right? Cantara Cellars in Camarillo. That's correct. I do work with Cantar Cellars for this one. Uh, this Chardonnay is 100% single vineyard from Lodi. It actually comes from Ruth's Vineyard uh, there in Lodi. Uh, it's an ABV of 14.9, so it's a good, robust Chardonnay. But like you're saying, it's it's beautifully crisp, um, and it's full-bodied with a good creamy mouthfeel. I feel that it has hints of green apple and vanilla. You know, I always say that wine is subjective, and just because I taste something doesn't mean you're going to taste the same thing. But that's really the flavor profile. It's not that heavy, oaky buttery. Um, nothing wrong with that, but this is not that type of Chardonnay. You can go to NectarOfTheDogsWine.com, check it out a little bit more, order some wine, um, you know, read more about it. It's $28 a bottle, and right now, during this COVID-19 crisis, which I hope ends soon, but we know it's probably not going to, uh, I'm doing <laughs> special 30% case discount, so you can go there and, and check it out. And so even if Monica, you don't want to eat because I don't blame you if you don't want to, but you can click on the Shop Now feature here on the Facebook page as well if you want to just go in there and buy your Chardonnay. And buy some wine, yes. So you're drinking the 2015, but I'm yeah. drinking I'm drinking the 2014, the OG, the original uh, OG. Chardonnay. Oh. And I'm drinking this in honor of our guest tonight, the All-American Docs and Rescue, um, because this is how it all started. Really, this was, you know, the concept and the idea. And when we uh, we only bottled 56 cases, this is before we even considered becoming a wine company. Um, but when we sold all of this wine, we donated $1,000 to the All-American Docs and Rescue. Um, we had two organizations at the time, one of them being All-American Docs and Rescue because that's just near and dear to my heart. And then the other one was Bark Party, and we had them... Um, we had them on a couple of weeks ago, so it was really nice to, uh, you know, to hear hear their story. But today we're going to talk to well, AA uh, Docs and Rescue. So I would like to um, introduce our guest now. But before I do, I want to just, uh, you just saw Bronnie and Vinny there. I was hoping that they were going to wake up. They didn't. But they had a, a little bit of a spa day today. And... I wanted to just show that picture. There they are. They were enjoying some, well, they weren't enjoying the wine, but I was. Oh, so. you. <laughs> so they were all excited. Uh, they had their spa day, you know, in the tub. And um, yeah, this is All American Docs and Rescue that we're going to talk to here in just a second and learn and, uh, more about them. So without further ado, let's bring on um, Kelly Sturgill 
from All American Dogs and Rescue. Kelly, how are you? I'm here. Kelly, how are you? Are you there? I'm here. Are you uh, good? Here we go. Okay. Technology. Yes. Yeah, I'm like, sorry. I can hear you. Okay. Hi. <laughs> Welcome to Wine Time. Cheers. 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 Cheers, cheers. So, you know, I'm very familiar with, let me just fix this. Hold on a second. It's very annoying right here. I'm sorry. Um, I am very familiar with All American Dogs and Rescue. As I mentioned, this is where I got my fur babies uh, way back in 2009. I know that it's a little bit different now. I adopted them. Uh, Bronny, I got from, he was being fostered in Arizona. And then Vinny, uh, since I adopted Bronny, I was kind of in your system. And so I was asked to foster Vinny over a weekend and, you know, I failed foster. What are you going to do? So I don't know. It's been 11 <laughs> years. <laughs> but um, well. yes, I learned about your organization back then. And I know that you predominantly, you're based in Tennessee. And so most of your rescues and your adoptions do take place on the East Coast. Not to say that somebody on the West Coast, if they really fell in love with the dog, I mean, that could still be possible. But um, yeah. when I was doing a little bit more research on your website today, I came across the story of Sammy, who is your Barks dog. So tell us a little bit about Sammy and his story. Yes. So Sammy was rescued by us in 2010. Uh, he was an eight-year-old dachshund that had basically lived his entire life on a chain the last four years of his eight year life, he went down in the back, which is uh, IVDD. Basically he herniated a disc, he broke his back and he was paralyzed in the back end. And he lived for four years on a chain, dragging himself around all, you know, all year long in incredibly harsh conditions. Uh, we did rescue him and one of our absolute wonderful members adopted him got him all the physical therapy that he needed and got him custom fit for amazing rocking wheels so that he can leave that life of misery in his dust. So he basically became our ambassador and uh, he's just a wonderful dog. And to read his entire story, you could go onto our website or you can go onto our Facebook page at All American Dogs and Rescue and it's just a wonderful story. That is incredible. And, you know, it just breaks my heart so much, that bottom picture and knowing that he spent four years of his life just in the, the horrible conditions. It just actually Vinny was um, what he had the disc um, surgery twice. So I totally understand all about that. But I'm so happy that he ended up spending the rest uh, of his life, you know, happy with his mobile wheels. And I'm so thankful to an organization like All American Dogs and Rescue and, and the foster that just took care of him to give him, you know, those wonderful years of his life. So, yes, please do go to the website and the Facebook page to learn about the story of Sammy. Just uh, an incredible story. So as I mentioned, you know, you guys are predominantly out there on the east. Uh, but let's take a look at some of the dogs that you actually do have uh, available right now. I know you said that there's some puppies and stuff, but these are some of the seniors that sometimes they get a little overlooked. But beautiful. Tell us about Chance and Diamond. So Chance, um, Chance was actually kind of a sad story. Uh, the, his parents or his family basically tied him up to the front porch of his house and left. And uh, so his neighbors, they came to his rescue and contacted our rescue. Chance is blind. Um, he has a condition called SARS. I'm not quite sure what that stands for, but it is some kind of a uh, disease that comes on, but very loving dog. I think he's, she is nine years old, just a big love bug. Uh, and then Diamond uh, found as a stray. I actually did meet Diamond. She uh, was found in Alabama as a stray, very skinny, very loving, came into our rescue, and I actually met her at our halfway house. So we have this wonderful facility that allows us to bring in dogs, get them assessed, get them the dentals, get them the uh, medical necessity, hit their shots, neutered, spayed, whatever needs to be done. And then we can assess them and figure out what one of our maybe 30 foster homes that we have, mm -hmm. all the way as far as Vermont, all the way down to Florida, all the way as east, or I'm sorry, west to Wisconsin, and get them transported by a wonderful organization or little, we call it the Doxy Train, which is right. all members and volunteers that decide to drive 60 to 100 miles one way just to 
get a dog to their foster home, get them into our rescue, or get them to their forever home. That's fantastic. I remember, uh, yeah, we were kind of, when we, you know, we're fostering, oh, my dog's sneezing over there. <laughs> when we were fost- fostering Vinny, uh, we we did actually have to give him to uh, the people that were going to foster him before he, you know, became adopted. Um, so I remember, like, we kind of drove up a little ways, and then they took him, but then they came back, and we got him, and so totally understand all about that. Hey, guys, say hi. Oh, they're finally, well, at least Bronnie's oh, awake. <laughs> at least Bronnie's awake. <laughs> Um, so, you know, I, uh, when I, again, looking on your website, this next dog coming up here, uh, Sugar, wow, just the markings on her, beautiful. Um, tell us about Sugar in Lewisburg, Tennessee. Yeah, Sugar's, a, you know, I actually met her at the halfway house again, which is wonderful. They actually, I think they were there at the same time. Um, Sugar, uh, she came from a shelter as well, and um, she had some trauma done to her front leg. As you can see, she's holding it up. Um, we're not quite sure if that was, she was beaten or if it was just trauma some other way, Mm -hmm. but she's a very sweet dog. She's a little hand shy. So we can kind of think that maybe she was beaten, but you know, the, the whole getting donations and all the things that we do to save these dogs by wonderful people who, like I said, donate to all American dogs and rescue. We're going to try to give her a chance of rehabbing those tendons and putting her in a brace and see if we can actually get her to use her front foot and not have to go to the route of amputating. Let's hope and pray and let's send some donations to, you know, so that sugar can keep all of her limbs. So, you know, but um, before we move on to the to the next thing I wanted to talk to uh, talk about. So you're the assistant uh, fundraising chair, but the yeah. um, person who actually founded this, Diane Irwin, she has a, she has a story, right? So what was the inspiration for her starting All American Dogs and Rescue? So Diane, unfortunately, lost her son in 2000 uh, to a motorcycle accident. And um, she was kind of in a crossroads of her life where asking God what was her purpose and she was asked to go and rescue a dog that was being starved to death and the person that she brought the dog to uh, was really into fostering and rescuing dachshunds so she started fostering and rescuing for a couple different organizations and then in 2004 she founded All American Dachshund Rescue and um it just grew from there. So last year we saved over 250 dogs and year to date, we're at about 5,000. So the rest is history. That's that's just fantastic. That's wonderful. I mean, I love that. And it's just, it's such a heartwarming, I mean, it's a tragedy, you know, why that had to happen. But like you're saying, I mean, she found her purpose and the purpose is helping these wonderful breed of dogs and brought them to me as well. So (laughs) I have that personal connection. Three of the Three of the four that I have all came from All American Docks and Rescue, too. It's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. So tell me a little bit, um, before we get into your your calendar contest here, I just wanted to ask, you know, in light of the COVID-19 crisis, is it really affecting you guys or not so much, uh, you know, fostering? Uh, tell me about it. Is it working? It actually is. It has helped. It has helped. Right. Uh, our applications are up. We mm-hmm. have had... Uh, most of our dogs are being adopted very, very quickly by wonderful homes that are perfect for them. So, yeah, it is actually brought um, help to our organization, whether it was our auction or just people looking for their their um, next best friend. Right. Actually, you know, this is our sixth one, I think, that we've done. And we've found that, you know, this COVID-19, it's a horrible global pandemic. It's helping because the shelters are getting cleared and, you know, animals are being yeah. adopted and rescued. So that's, I guess, a good thing to come out of it. Um, yeah, so I think, tell I think us, people will pay it forward. Pay it forward. Absolutely. Tell us a little bit about your calendar contest. Okay. So the, the calendar contest is, it's awesome. It's, First of all, I can show you right here. Okay. This is the cover. This comes everywhere. Who does not want their dog to be on the front cover? Oh, cute. I have that one. And then uh, every month, there's three runner-ups. 
which is great. There's these banners, which is Nectar of the Dog is on this Yay. banner. <laughs> Yay, yes, we do support. What's that? I said we do support. Yes, we put the banners sure. in there. Okay. So yeah. basically, it's $5 per chance to get in. You can submit as many pictures as you want. You do not have to be a member of All-American Docks and Rescue. And it doesn't have to be... Um, pure dachshund it could be a mix it's just wonderful pictures and they are judged by a group of volunteers and it's done blindly so they don't know who the owners or the dog's names or anything like that mm -hmm. so That's there's a wonderful. whole bunch of more information on it uh, again you can visit allamericandachshundrescue.org and all the information's on on there for the uh, the calendar information or yep. more information on the calendar that's perfect. Uh, maybe I'll enter some pictures of Bronnie and Vinny because God knows I have a million. I think people who, well, you know, if you're a dog lover, you have a ton of pictures. <laughs> so that's that's great. Tell us one thing here um, about your, yeah, you have an auction, your spring fling. So what's that all about? So that just ended. That was, uh, it went on from April 1st to the 16th. And it's just a wonderful way of, raising money for these dachshunds so it, people will donate items um, this past one we had over i want to see almost 70 gift cards that were donated and they were for Publix and kroger and um walmart so they were all gift cards that were very useful during this pandemic and uh, and then it's items that are either dachshund related or collectibles it could be anything it doesn't have to be dog related it could be houseware it's just items that are donated from people all over the country that just want to help rescue dogs and who doesn't like bidding on things and getting into a little bidding war <laughs> i love that i love that yeah well, that's great. You know, I wish that uh, I was able to donate some wine, but I can only ship in the state of California and Nevada. So uh, I have something else that I would love to donate to your fall auction. So these are candles that I make from the recycled uh, wine bottles. This is the large one here. So it has 140 hours of burn time. This is a small one. It has 110 hours of burn time. They're 100% soy and they're clean burning and they smell amazing. I have different scents. So I just put these on the website. So if you can't order wine, if you don't drink wine, if you don't live in California, Nevada, check out the candles and support for a good cause. So I will definitely donate a couple of those there for you, um, Kelly, and hopefully, you know, people bid on them and, and get their candles. That's fantastic. Thank you so much. Our next upcoming auction is October 1st to the 16th. So we're very excited for it. That is great. So, um, you know, it, it seems that we, uh, you've just shared with us how we can help. Uh, go to the website, go to your Facebook page. You have these auctions and uh, you know, this calendar contest. Anything else you want to share on how people can help or is that kind of just donate and adopt? It, adopt, just get the word out, support your local shelters. It doesn't have to be dachshund related. Um, support local rescue groups cat, dog, mixed breed, whatever you can do, anything right. to help getting dogs out of shelters and in loving homes and cats. Dogs and cats, animal lovers, absolutely. Well, I wanna thank you, Kelly, for being on Cheers and you know for all that you do and all the that the All-American Dogs and Rescue uh, does to help doxies. And I, I love the fact that, you know, it's, yeah, not everybody loves doxies, I don't know how you couldn't, but um, there are so many other breeds. I mean, dogs, they're just wonderful. Um, love them, and that's why we do what we do. So um, thank you again for being on here. And I just wanted to let you know that Nectar is going to donate a portion of the sales from May to All-American Dogs and Rescue. As I mentioned, you know, you are one of our core uh, charity organizations. So you can go now, anybody who's watching, share this video. Uh, go to the website, NectarOfTheDogsWine.com. I mentioned we're doing 30% case uh, discounts, so you can go in there. I have mixed cases. I have single varietal. I also have the bottles for sale. The candles are for sale. 
And if you don't see something that you want, if you want to order like six bottles or something different, just email me or Monica. And uh, we do ship in the state of California and Nevada. We do limited delivery here in uh, Ventura and, and L.A. So we're just really, you know, trying to get the word out there, try to sell some wine so we can get back to these organizations. Um, you can follow us on Instagram at Nectar of the Dogs Wine. And, you know, you can just go directly to allamericandogsandrescue.org and check out the beautiful dogs on there. Check out the story of Sammy. Uh, and just, you know, do what you can to help. You can also follow them on Instagram at All American Docs and Rescue. If you are interested in joining us for Wine Time, you know, we started this, I think, at the beginning of April, if that's correct, Monica. And I think we have organizations now all the way until the middle of June. So, you know, since we have to keep social distancing, wineries are closed, we're just going to keep doing this. Uh, just keep spreading the word, having fun on Friday nights, drinking some wine. And uh, But if you are interested in joining us, please email me or Monica and we can give you the details. Right, Mon? Yeah, absolutely. It's been a lot of fun. It has been a lot of fun. I, I just can't wait till we can actually like hang out in a room together. But you that know, would be awesome. Yeah, I'd love that. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, you know, we we actually did have a bunch of events on the calendar. We were we were full steam ahead this year. Twenty twenty was looking so great. We had some uh, uh, magazine article okay. write ups and stuff. And and what yeah. happened? And what yeah. are we doing? Coronavirus happened, and now what we're doing <laughs> is all virtual, just like everyone else. But we give back to a really great cause. So if you're interested in doing a virtual private wine tasting with us, um, go to the website, nectarofthedogswine.com. Um, like Melanie said, we have 30% off um, on cases. Uh, you can do um, all rosé or white, or you can throw in some red in there. Uh, and we will join you at your convenience uh, to walk you through all of the varietals in your case and teach you all about Nectar of the Wine's dogs and Nectar of the dogs, wine, excuse me. And <laughs> dogs, wine, wine, dogs. And raise and raise that money for these dog rescues. Amazing. Well, I oh, Vinny. only one time. <laughs> uh, there's Vinny. Yeah, he wanted to make an appearance and say hello. So, you know, these last few weeks, uh, your wonderful husband, who's a great cook, has been cooking up some dishes to pair with the wines of the week. What did he make this week to pair with the 2015 yeah. Chardonnay? Uh -huh. Tell us all about it. Good. This week we have the chicken with mushroom and sausage. It is delicious. You guys have to watch this. It's really good and it pairs really, really good with the uh, Chardonnay. All right, Todd, let's take a peek and see what uh, that's all about. All right, today we're making chicken with mushrooms and sausage. This is a really delicious dish that I learned from Chef John on foodwishes.com. And I encourage you to go visit his website and YouTube channel. Do it. This dish uses four different types of fat, which adds so much flavor, but those flavors can get lost without adding an acid that kind of pulls everything together. And this is where cooking with wine really pays off, especially cooking with good wine. And the 2015 unoaked yet creamy Chardonnay from Nectar of the Dogs is the perfect thing to pair with and to cook with this dish. <laughs> and as long as I'm opening a bottle of wine, I need a kitchen buddy. I can't drink alcohol. I'm your cooking buddy. <laughs> you are my cooking buddy. Where's mommy? For this dish, you'll need a heavy bottom pan that can go into a 400 degree oven. You can use cast iron if you have one, but I'm going with a heavy bottom stainless steel pan. One Italian sausage, two boneless chicken breasts, skin on if you can find them. If not, ask the butcher to cut them special for you. They will if you ask. One yellow onion. Diced. Two cups of mushrooms, quartered. Two tablespoons of olive oil or ghee. Ghee is delicious. Two tablespoons of cold butter, one tablespoon of fresh chopped tarragon, and a third of a cup of white wine. Pull coals in the sausage and put it in the pan on medium heat for two to three minutes per side. We're not trying to cook the sausage through, we're just trying to render out the pork fat. Now put the sausage in the fridge for 20 to 30 minutes and take a break and have some wine. Salt and pepper the chicken breasts on both sides. I use different cutting boards so I don't cross-contaminate raw proteins. Yellow for poultry, red for pork and beef, and blue for fish. Add the ghee to the pan, and then the chicken breast, skin side down, for five to six minutes per side. 
Now dice up the chilled sausage. It's not cooked through, so I'm using the red cutting board. Take the chicken off and put it aside. Add the onions and mushrooms and sausage to the pan and let them soak up the sausage fat, chicken fat, and ghee. Once they start to brown, but not too much, put the chicken breast back in and any juices from the plate the chicken was resting on. That's a four star tip. Put the pan in a 400 degree oven for about 15 minutes and have some more wine. After 15 minutes, take out the pan. Remember to place a towel on the end of the handle so you don't burn yourself. Also, make sure the towel isn't too close to the stove or it can catch on fire. Don't ask. Remove the chicken breasts and let them rest. Now turn your heat to medium high and cook the mushrooms until they caramelize. It should take about a minute. And then pour in the wine to deglaze the pan. Make sure to scrape up any bits on the bottom of the pan. Once the sauce reduces about half, turn your heat to low and throw in the cold butter. And if you're keeping track, this is fat number four. Now throw in the tarragon and stir it up until the butter melts. This should thicken up the sauce after about a minute. And make sure to taste it and add any salt and pepper if it needs it. Now plate everything up, maybe on some garlic mashed potatoes, and pour over that delicious mushroom and sausage sauce. And you're done. And hopefully, you have another bottle of wine, which thankfully, we did. Thankfully, you had another bottle of wine, but you know, if you run out, you know where to get that. We do. How was it? <laughs> oh my God. It was so good. The sausage just added a little something to it that I, I can't even explain. It's so good. Try it. Well, I can't wait. Can't wait till we can all cook and hang out together. Um, so yeah, well, Vinny is, he's done. Bronnie just wanted to say, you know, <laughs> he's ready for a nap too. So Monica, thanks for joining me again. Uh, next week we'll be joined by Jessica Collision of Good Dog Trainer. Like we're saying, you know, so many shelters are being cleared. So we have all these new dog owners and fosters. So she's going to share with us some tips and tricks to, you know, keep your dog safe and, and obedient. And uh, yeah, for all these new dog owners. So Kelly, I'd yeah. like to just thank you again for joining. Uh, do you have Tim there? Do you have Tiny Tim? Do I see that? I have Tiny Tim. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> say hi. It's time out. He's tired. <laughs> yeah. Thank you again. You know, all American dogs and rescue for what you do. Um, please pass on my best to Lois and to Diane for, for, you know, all that you guys do because they have brought these wonderful babies into my life and uh, it just makes life just, just wonderful. So Great. cheers ladies. May dogs continue to bless your life. Have a good weekend. Everybody sure. stay safe. You. We'll see you next week. And thank you. And thank you for assisting us in our mission of rescuing one until they are not. Absolutely. Appreciate yes. it. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.